Listen to me. What happened? You are too impatient, big man. Can't wait for the money. The big deal. When is it? Listen, Nick. We've got something to tell you. Tomorrow is a meeting for the big job. When does the staff arrive, Bill? Tomorrow morning. You, Paris, will go receive it. And uh, where is the meeting? Both of you will have to meet us in the warehouse tomorrow. Good. Now, Nick, do something. Adri is right. We better leave. Yes? Are you fucking kidding me? I asked you for one thing. And if I don't get it, you are fucked. Understood? again your new friends I can't say I like them were you spying on me I did my own research and what do you find Peter how would you like prison how can you be so sure you just wouldn't understand it's certain no it's not it's not truth leave me alone okay Paris don't say I didn't warn you there, big man. Are we good? From a certain point of view, all this time, I had you right in my hand. You fucking cop. Take them. 
get this. Shut the fuck up. I'm on my way to the police department. We need business parties. I don't have any of it. <laughs> Just like I told you, my friend. Patience. That's all we need. Now go. I'll be right after you. Don't move. Go the director. Now. Hey, chief. Some complication secured. Don't be afraid. I was coming to find you. Nick Papalakis is around. How did you know that, Peter? I just thought of it this morning. So now what's the plan? You must leave the city as soon as possible. Wait, what? This is not possible. Tomorrow, you will already be on the wanted list, Paris. You must leave the city. Listen to me for once in your lifetime. Yes. Maybe you're right. I better leave. I hope to see you again, my friend. You jump at Faris! Now who the fuck are you? What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Director. Where is she? Who are you referring to? You know damn well. Oh! Oh! This morning, a drug dealer who was arrested a year ago by the name of Andrew Wonneris was released. The prisoner paid his fee and after one year in prison, he said he was finally free to do whatever he wanted. What are you doing here? What's your problem? Are you a cop? Give this man. No. He is the cop. I've got the big dealer. Move along. So, is it death to little kids? Do you know who am I? Frank, you're here. You are going to jail for so many years that you will remember me for the rest of your meaningless life. Do you hear me? I'm tired. And I want to go home. Are you kidding me? Of course you're not going anywhere. It wasn't my fault. Answer to me truthfully. Did you have any relationship with the Dags in the past? I don't know. Seriously? You don't know? Because I set you up. And they remember you very well. Right, Mr. Big Man? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Paris Aferopoulos, you are afraid to go. What? Didn't you hear me? You are afraid to go. Get the hell out of my eyes.
Last night, two police officers, Nick Papadakis and Bill Alexiou, were found dead near their houses. All evidence leads us to believe that the murderer is Andrew Gunaris, a former drug dealer who was recently released out of prison. Well, I didn't expect company. The same way you don't expect pests in your garden. Are you here to kill me? Like you killed all the others? This flower has come so close to the truth. So, I'm a flower. Ladies and gentlemen, the two brutal murders of Vasil Alexiou and Nick Papadakis have rocked the Panhellenic. The unsolved mystery self still comes to seal a third murder of Peter Papadimitriou. Suspicion falls on Andrew Gunaris, who was arrested one year ago by these two police officers. Regarding the last death of these two people, were connected by a mutual friend, ex-drug dealer named Paris Zafiropoulos, who had escaped.
I predict a long journey. One more step, and I kill him. All right, all right. I won't move. Don't bother. He's already dead. I committed all the murders. Why are you doing this? For what else? Money. So you are the head of the drug dealership? Obviously. And now, I'm out of competition. I, Frank Georgiou, police officer deputy, deposit my story of the big deal between some members of the police for the personal profit. George Kazakos, the director of the police department, along with Bill Alexiou and Nick Papadakis, who were working as undercover cops, approached two young lads who in times of need for money and survival were forced to become death sellers. After the director arrested the two sellers, Paris Afiropoulos and Andrei Gunaris, he was initially met with a appraisal, despite the escape of the first one. But the case was not as simple as it seemed. As time went by, and while Paris Afiropoulos had moved to another city, and had created a new life with another name, George Kazakos started to kill all those who were a part of his teams because they were a threat to his well-being. The director was living in the side of Andrew Gunneris after every one of his kills, and he was able to blame him for the murders and to make Paris Afiropoulos to return in order to kill him. That's how the unexpected call of the director, considering the release of the drug holding Paris, can be explained. This story is truly out of this world, but through it we can clearly see how easy it is for a man to sell all his moral values for money. For this money, a man forgets all about his ethics and surpasses his moral barriers. This so-called officer, who is supposed to preserve the law, ended up breaking it just for his own selfish desires. In this society, we talk about corrupted minds. So, you never told me how you managed to stay alive. I have some tricks up my sleeves. What do you mean? Well, I had just uh, simply called an argument right before the attempt on my life. Here is your receipt. 